Welcome back to Woodcraft716.com. I'm Mike Weibel, and on this channel, we try to create and inspire through woodworking. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon so you're notified of all the new content we have coming out. And just like that, let's get started. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to make these slimline pen kits. Everything you need comes in the pen kit itself, except for the blank. These things are awesome, man. They make great gifts. They're not too expensive, but you do need a lathe and some tools. If you're interested in seeing more videos done on the lathe, let me know in the comments below. Or if it doesn't interest you at all, let me know, so that I can not make these kind of videos anymore. And just like that, let's get started. The first thing we'll do is take a look at the slimline pen kit. It's got what's called the nib, that's the very pointy part of the pen, a brass tube, the middle collar, another brass tube, and the clip. It also comes with the pen refill, and it's called the transmission, that's what makes the pen go in and out. And that's it for the slimline pen kit. Next we'll take a look at the blanks. The blanks themselves don't have to be pretty, it's the end result that it will just shock you. So when you take a close look at these, they look like they're pretty tethered and pretty rough shape. You won't believe the transformation. The first thing we need to do is mark these blanks. If you really want to take your pen to the next level, we'll line up the grain at the end and these things will be sweet. All you want to do is take a sharpie and make a long line down for your grain orientation. We'll do that to all of these. The next thing we want to do is put our copper tube on the piece and then mark in between those. Try to give yourself at least a sixteenth on either end because there may be some tear out during drilling. The next thing we'll do is cut these all down to size and get them ready for drilling. From here it's just over to the drill press. We're going to drill our hole all the way through it. If you don't have a drill press you could just clamp your piece and drill it as straight as you can. And just like that the holes are in them. The next thing we want to do is take our shiny tube here and scuff it up with some sandpaper to really help the glue hold it a little better. I'm just rubbing it back and forth, just taking the shine off. And I think you can see the difference between the shiny one and the one I sanded. Then I just have an old center punch that I sharpened that'll fit a tube on it. We'll go ahead and put some super glue on this and insert it into our blank. Making sure we're just below the surface on the end that we cut so we can line up the grain at the end. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to the vise, put our blank in there and we're going to use this drill bit that will clean out any super glue that's inside the tube and it'll bring it down flush to the top of the copper tube. Just like that. Then we'll bring it over to the lathe, put on our bushing, our piece, another bushing, another piece and more bushings. So I'm just going to start off with a roughing gouge and I'm going to make it round. After it's round, we're going to go ahead and give it the shape that we want for the pen. Once that's all set, we'll hit it with sandpaper. We'll start with 150 and we'll go all the way up to 600. We'll get this thing super smooth. Once that's done, we'll be ready for finish. Then when we get the shape we wanted and it's all sanded up, we're going to go ahead and apply some of this shell wax. It's just a conditioner we put on first and then a wax we put on after. We keep it at a high speed and we just buff off whatever's left and it looks super sweet. Okay, this is when we assemble the pen. This is where it all comes together and this thing looks sweet. So we have the nib which is the tip of the pen, the lower section of the pen, the middle ring, the upper section of the pen, the cap, and the clip. We also have the ink. We did check the pen to see if it writes, it's good to go, and they are refillable. And then we have the transmission, or the twisty mechanism. So the first thing we'll do is take the nib, then we'll put it into the lower half of the pen, put it in the press, and squeeze it down tight. After that's all done, we'll take it back out, and we'll get the transmission. The transmission has a little brass ring on it, and that's the end we're going to put into the lower half of the pen. We're just going to put it in there and we're going to stop at the little crease mark. Then we'll take the pen out, we'll slide the ink in and check it to make sure that it's working. Then we'll make sure that the tip sticks out just enough the way we want the pen to look. Next we'll take the cap, we'll put the cap inside the clip. 
Then we'll put that in the top half of the pen and put it in the press and squeeze it down tight. Then we just take our center ring and we slide it over the transmission, fits kind of tight, and then we just put the back of the pen on, squeeze it on, line up our grain, make sure it's nice and straight, and just like that, these things are done. These slimline pens are great. They're fairly inexpensive and they look fantastic. And they come in a variety of colors, like the chrome, the gold, the black. They also have satin finish, nickel finish, a whole variety of colors. I'm no professional, but I think these pens came out okay. They look good and they'll make great gifts. Sometimes when I sell furniture and cutting boards, I'll throw in a pen just to give it that wow factor to the customer. They really like that, and that might be a great conversation piece to get your name out there. If you got any value out of this, subscribe, like, and leave me a comment down below if you're interested in more turning videos. And if not, we just won't make any more. And just like that, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.